آزادی بیان یعنی لون زیو فری سپیچ As a general rule, I oppose um, limits on speech that involve the, uh, the content of speech. Among other reasons, I believe such limits vest a level of discretion in the authorities that will almost inevitably result in abuses. And, and that's because speech is infinitely variable. There is no limit on the number of ways that a particular thought can be expressed. And the corollary is that there is also no l- limit on the number of ways that the authorities can interpret speech or impute a particular thought to a speaker. Our legal system is founded on the view that forms of conduct that may be prohibited should be defined as precisely as possible so that we know when a transgression will take place and we can regulate ourselves in ways that avoid doing anything that is illegal. It is, of course, possible to prohibit the use of, of certain words. Beyond that, however, uh, I think precision is not possible where speech is concerned because there are so many ways to use other words to convey the same meaning or to read that meaning into other words. Uh, to the extent that uh, limits on speech are accepted, uh, I believe they should involve the time, the place, and the manner of speech. Uh, no one has a right to, uh, to burst into this room and disrupt the proceedings here by making a speech of his own, even if what he has to say would be perfectly appropriate if he had previously reserved use of this room for his own purposes. Um, one could be prohibited um, from using a megaphone to conduct a political rally in front of a hospital or late at night in a quiet residential neighborhood. Uh, there are times and places where it may be appropriate to shout fire, but one could be punished for doing so falsely in a crowded theater where a panic may ensue before anyone can persuade the crowd that there is no fire. Uh, I think one could legitimately be punished for confronting another person directly with such insulting epithets as would actually provoke a fight. Where time and place are concerned, it seems only appropriate to uphold freedom of speech in circumstances in which contrary points of view may also be expressed freely and considered before harm takes place. That is not possible in a crowded theater when someone yells fire or in a street confrontation involving insults. There are also political circumstances that make it impossible for free speech to take place that I will discuss in a few moments.